Hi guys, this is my review of the first usage of the FireSense Notebook Charcoal Grill. It's actually at the moment uh, on discount, so a good moment to buy. Here's some pictures from Amazon, so it looks really good, really stable. Um, yeah, it looks really promising and I was hoping that it will look the same when using it. So, uh, I have another video, of course, on YouTube, how to um, unbox and how it looked uh, on the first impression and it was quite good. So, yesterday I was trying to, uh, yeah, yeah, I was using it for the first time. So, I... Yeah, opened it, put the grill, uh, grilling grate or the charcoal grilling grates in it. And yeah, what I did actually in the meantime, I cut these grilling grates um, yeah, apart. I mean, I cut these the connectors, which I, yeah, you can see my, my unboxing probably. So usually these grilling grates are connected and it's difficult to use them, difficult to clean. So I decided to cut it and it was a good decision. So, so far I can uh, recommend doing this at the moment. So uh, yeah, see uh, how much uh, charcoal I put into the grill. And this is unfortunately it's flipped, so uh, you can't. Um, yeah, the video. I don't know why um, Samsung decided to ro to flip it by 90 degrees. I have to rotate it later, but it, yeah, you don't need the movie. So it was quite okay. I ignited or ignited it on both sides. Uh, this is some self-inflaming charcoal which you find on any super, uh, supermarket and yeah, uh, I, I sh it took uh, about one or two minutes and then everything was in full blaze so no uh, vents or nothing needed, no additional things so just ignite it and uh, yeah it will burn like crazy so um, yeah it burned like this for can't remember maybe 10 15 minutes yeah depending of the charcoal of course so yeah maybe this after so yeah if you're interested I can show you oh that was the wrong button I need the information thing so maybe i can find out i am also wondering this is 714 and this is 719 so four minutes later looked like this so the um yeah the flames a little bit down almost ready to start grilling um yeah Let's go, yeah, and here you see already, and uh, this is um, 20 minutes after I igni ignited the charcoal, uh, already you see the sausages have quite some color on one side, and yeah, but I've been using these uh, hot dog sausages, these uh, vegetable balls and we have also made some uh, barbecue uh, bread or bread sticks so yeah uh, it got really great I mean the only complaint is I was not able to access the charcoal or the, the, the blaze on the knees so um, yeah if, if it's not okay if you think um, they are too dense or not, not not dense enough you have to put more it's almost impossible to access you you can't do anything but the good thing is if you have less meat or less uh, food on it you can use just two of the grilling grates let's say you, you 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 remove the middle one and then you can access easily to the charcoal um, yeah, usually I will do this. Uh, um, that was the intention of. Um, yeah, here you see the old places where the connector have been, and I'm cutting this, and now I can really take this in part in middle out, and so I can shift the grilling 
plates back and forth and I can easily access the uh, charcoal or the, the, the blaze underneath so that's the good thing that's really a benefit of cutting these connectors I can only recommend that apart from that I think the gap between the uh, grate underneath and the grilling grates are perfect as you see if you have one layer of charcoal it will uh, produce a uh, color to meat and bread and everything but it won't burn it like when you have these instant grilling things that you can buy on um, yeah wherever like super uh, all these supermarkets then the problem is always that your food is too close to the charcoal so it will almost immediately burn your food and here it was not the case so you see decent color but not really burned so you can really good control it so that's the good thing so that this is after uh, eating the charcoal is still hot it's still burning there was no problem with not enough air underneath or so you see it that's much later uh, that's uh, more than one hour later uh, one hour and 15 minutes later I have been ma making this picture we have been sitting around the the uh, grill and have enjoying the extra heat because we had a cold front lately and it the uh, temperature dropped a little bit so yeah we were really enjoying the extra heat so uh, next day yeah I yeah of course I left it out I mean outside the grill because yeah, yeah you, when you have this um charcoal uh, hot charcoal you can't uh, put it into the trash can otherwise you risk risk uh, uh, fire so i left everything outside overnight and of course you have some uh, yeah uh, dew um, and of course it got a little bit wet so at the end you see there's a little bit of rust already on the side so that's uh, yeah of course I mean it's sixteen dollars what can you expect it's not uh, it's not um, stainless steel if you want stainless steel there's another grill for about fifty dollars I mean yeah, I will use it just uh, two or three times a year so it will be okay maybe I can remove this rust um, yeah if you look on the from the top everything perfect shape only a little bit rust here uh, also if you look from the side nothing really well, uh, to complain about uh, also I have been cleaning these grilling grates um, no problem so far uh, they were easy to clean and they look almost perfect you see all the sides yeah really not much to complain about regarding the price everything still in good shape here you have a close-up from the uh, part where the uh, burnt charcoal will drop uh, again a little bit to complain about these air holes I don't know I, I I don't think that they are really needed they just uh, allow the um, yeah some some hot charcoal uh, dropping down to the bottom or to the, to the ground and if you have some kind of fire um, like uh, not fire ban but close to it so it can it could ignite some fire so uh, not so good but I mean this is complaining on a very high level as you see here um, not not much um, yeah I mean uh, you, it, it looks almost like on the first day but of course I have been grilling with sausages bread uh, this uh, vegetable meat vegetable uh, my, I mean meatballs uh, rich vegetable balls uh, there was not so much 
uh, Greece, of course, involved. If you have like, uh, yes, yeah, some uh, heavy stakes, and the Greece will drop. So, of course, it won't be this very easy cleaning as I had, and probably it will. It won't look the same, but uh, you will be able to clean. So, yeah. I mean that's the end of my story of the first usage so I'm still really happy with this portable grill not much to complain about maybe the uh, construction a little bit uh, the side plates you almost need two person to um, put it together that's a little bit uh, pain and I think the probably are not needed at all if i would have to construct i would leave them out so you can have all the three grilling grates on top um sorry wrong side yeah if you would leave out if you would do it without the sides you would you could have these three grilling grates on top and still you would be able to access the charcoal uh, with the side protection it's not possible so yeah and uh, they are easy uh, not so easy to to install and i would like to have a little bit smaller grill i mean of course the dimensions are online you can see but i was expecting a little bit smaller one so a grill which you can take with you like in a backpack this of course is too heavy too large you can't put it into a backpack i would like to have something like half size where it fits still fits for like five or even ten sausages no problem at all and you could put it into a backpack so that would be something that i would really like but if you plan to take it in your car like to a uh, some kind of barbecue spot like in a park where you maybe not have enough fire uh, fireplaces where you have to use your own one that's a great great opportunity a really a great grill for doing this and not for backpacking of course so yeah that's it for now maybe i will do uh, another review later on of uh, after using it multiple times but after using first time i'm really happy with it i only can recommend it to everybody um, yeah if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching anyway see you next time